The most popular misunderstood plant, the fiddly fig tree. Okay, fiddly fig light. We've opened our blinds here. This is a west facing window. And this is what I'd say is the minimum amount of light to give your fiddly fig. This is bright indirect light. It might get some direct light at sunset, but make sure that your plant is getting at least this amount of light. It's kind of the minimum requirement for a fiddly fig. One of the biggest issues that arise with a fiddly fig are just under lighting it in general. And remember that your fiddly fig can go all the way up to direct sunlight to a certain degree. Just look for burning. We actually burnt this leaf here. Uh, this was too much sun. Some of the biggest issues with the fiddly fig tree is that it's given too much water and too little light. And these two processes, water and light, go hand in hand. If you give the plant more light, it then consumes more water. These leaves are a bit leathery and they're tough. So that means we know that this plant is able to absorb a bit more light than normal and that it has an outer shell, a skin on its leaf that can hold in that water. Think of like a cactus. It has like a hard outer layer and that's able to hold in all of that moisture in the desert hot air. Okay, fiddly fig watering. Now again, another one of the big issues with the fiddle leaf fig is that it is overwatered. So this plant needs a lot of light, but it doesn't need that much water. It doesn't really like to have its roots sitting in moisture, but they really don't mind a dry root mass as long as it doesn't over dry. Now this leaf over dried, this plant over dried a little bit. So you're seeing a little bit of this browning, but overall, people tend to overwater their fiddly fig trees. So just kind of air on the underwatering side. So an easy way to test the soil moisture is just with a chopstick. We can take this chopstick, stick it down into the soil, leave it for a moment. And then when we pull it back up, we can see how much moisture is on here and kind of feel the dampness of it. This is actually quite dry and we can overall feel the weight of this. It's pretty light. That means there's not a lot of moisture in this soil or else the pot would be much heavier. This plant is pretty much ready for a watering. But again, you're gonna kind of keep an eye on this moisture level of this pot and water kind of down once the water line gets down to this lower level. And when you go to water your fiddly fig every two to four weeks or so, depending on the container size, make sure to water just until a little bit of water comes out of the bottom of the pot. So you're gonna water a little bit, let it drain, water a little bit more, let it drain, until a little bit starts to come out of the bottom, then stop. You don't have to soak the soil. This isn't a super high water plant and then let it drip off maybe 20 minutes. We do it in our bathroom shower or outside and then put it back in its spot. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Check us out again next Saturday for next week's video.